A great look there at the fabled fountains of Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City as MLB The Show is proud to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball. We've got an interleague showdown for you tonight as it'll be the Los Angeles Dodgers taking on the Kansas City Royals. And hello once again, everybody. Alongside Dave Campbell, Matt Vaskersian, we get set to bring you what should be an entertaining ball game. Also with us, 10-year Major League vet Rex Hudler. And Hud, we turn to you first. What catches your eye in this one? Well, one guy that's worth keeping an eye on is Mark Tien. Remember, this guy used to be a third baseman, but he shifted out to right field and darn near led the AL in assists. And the guy can do it with his bat. He's really becoming a complete package. All right, Rex, thank you. Dave will be along in a moment as well. But first, let's check out the Dodgers' starting lineup for this one, presented by New Era Cap. Leading things off is the lightning quick Rafael Fercal. He's at shortstop. Juan Pierre bats second in left field. Andrew Jones will bat third and play center. Jeff Kent is the cleanup hitter. He'll play second. James Loney is the number five hitter. He's at first base. Russell Martin will do the catching. He bats sixth. Nomar Garcia Parra, the third baseman in the number seven hole. Andre Ethier, the DH tonight, he'll hit eighth. Matt Kemp will round things out. He is the right fielder. And they'll face off against a first time All Star in 2007, right hander Gil Mesh. Mesh, one of the most highly sought after pitchers in the 2006 Hot Stove League, he justified all the hoopla surrounding his signing as although the one-loss record wasn't all that amazing on a sub-500 club, the ERA at 3.67 was very strong indeed. A look there at the Royals behind him defensively as they're led by a former gold glover, Mark Grudzelanek, at second base. So now Rafael Furcal gets ready to stand in as we're just about ready for baseball. This one's underway as the first pitch is a strike to Fercal as we get things started. Here's the pitch. And that's swung on and missed by Fercal as he falls behind here, nothing in two. And you can already see, his objective here is going to be to go right at these guys. In the air, down the left field line and deep. Tian will put this one away as Fercal is out to lead off the ball game. He was trying to go the other way and drop it down the line, but this one hung up there long enough for the left fielder to go over there and run it down. Juan Pierre will get his first shot at it here. Pours this one in at the letters, 0-1. And, and one of the reasons this guy's been in the bigs for so long is that he knows the importance of first pitch strikes. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at 1-1. One and one. One, two, three. Get back there. Fouled straight back. Slider gets him swinging, two gone. Boy, and that's not what you'd consider a sweeping slider. That's a nasty slider. Tough to do anything with that. Andrew Jones will take his first cut to the ball game here. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. And, 
right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. And they'd love to get through this first inning 1-2-3. There's no doubt about that. And a swing, and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. He'll try a different arm slot here to see if he can get him to chase. And the pitch. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. So a fairly painless top of the first. And now the Royals get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. And look there at the starting lineup for the Royals in this one. Leading things off this speedy center fielder, David DeJesus. Batting second and playing second is Mark Rudzelanek. In the three spot is Alex Gordon over at third. Jose Guillen follows him out in right. Following him, Mark Tian. He's moved out to left field. Ross Glode will be at first base and hits sixth. Then comes Billy Butler, the DH. Then comes John Buck. He'll be behind the plate. Tony Pena Jr. will hit number nine. He is at shortstop. They'll go to work against the big fellow, right-hander Brad Penny. Penny comes off nothing less than a spectacular 2007 as he finished third in the National League Cy Young balloting with a 16-4 record and a 3.03 ERA. In many other years, those are numbers that might have been good enough to take home the hardware, but he'll look to improve upon him if it's at all possible here in 2008. And defensively, the Dodgers will line up like this as we get a look courtesy of Louisville Slugger. And now the center fielder, David DeJesus, will make his way to the box to kick off the home half of inning number one. And, oh my gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. Foul back. Now a fastball driven the other way out to deep left field. Pierre has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Mark Rutzelanek will step in now. Late on the fastball there as this one skied out towards straightaway right. Kent ranges back and he has it for route number two. And there's nothing you'd like better as a pitcher than a 1-2-3 first inning on the road. Alex Gordon will take his cuts now. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. hey. 
Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Good zip to that one. Gets that one in on him before he can get his hands through. Here's the one one pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. Up with it is for call. Throw on Deloney is in time for the third out. Nothing doing here this half. Second inning upcoming here in KC with no score. Jeff Kent leads things off now in the top half of the second. And here's the...